part of our month-long trip in Thailand, we spent three nights on Koh Phi Phi Island. We took a ferry from Phuket, which I've shown in a previous video, and we are staying at the Cabana Hotel, which has an incredible view and is very close to everything. The island is not that big, so we did walk all over the place. Everything was very close by. Here you can see the port where the ferries leave from, as well as the long tail boats that you can get for day trips to different islands. This is the spot where the ferries leave from, so you can see a lot of people arriving with their luggage. There's all kinds of people like that walking around with those carts and just taking luggage to people's hotels. So here we are walking along the main strip. We are here during the off season, so at the end of June, the weather was perfect. And also, as you can see, there's not huge crowds everywhere. I know this is kind of the party island, which I could see if it was during the busy months, but when we went, it was really pleasant, not many crowds and everything was still open. So you can see a bunch of shops, gift shops, restaurants. Also on the left there, you can see the medical center. So if anything happens, you do have a doctor that you can see. So we're just walking down the little alleyways in when you walk into it a little bit there is a small market in the center so there are all kinds of fruit stands little restaurants gift shops we did stop and get some smoothies which we got pretty much every day while in thailand they're amazing the best ones by far are the watermelon smoothies and then also the coconut smoothies So today I decided to take Arya on a little walk. We wanted to go snorkel a little bit. So we just went and explored some of the island and walked towards Viking Beach. There are fun swings on the beach. They're humongous. Arya really liked those. You can see in the distance where we started from and we've just kind of been walking along the path. We found this cool rock area, so we decided to go and climb on those on our way to the beach. Or you can just take a path. There's this path also next to the water that you can take. So we didn't make it all the way to Viking Beach, but we did see this beach along the way and it was really nice. It wasn't very busy. There were like five other people with us. So we just decided to go for a swim. The water is such a nice color. Okay. We've had pretty perfect weather. Aside from it raining a little bit, which you'll see even later in the day, it did start to rain, but then it stopped. It stopped pretty quick, like after about a couple hours. Aria was excited. She saw the sea snails too, the little ones. And then we decided to just walk back. We saw a bunch of really nice hotels along the way. I think ours is better just because of the view. This one is close to the water, but you don't get a view of the water. So as we made it back to the hotel, it did rain a little bit and then it stopped and was kind of spitting it wasn't like a full-on rainstorm or anything but we decided to go and do a private tour of some of the islands so here we are on our way to our first stop which was monkey beach Bye, monkeys. i think not too many people were going just because of the weather and it was really nice. We got out, we got pretty close to the monkeys. 
One of the monkeys jumped on Arya's back and she was laughing. And then one tried to pull Ollie's swim shorts down. But aside from that, they did not get too close to us. We just kind of hung out next to them. They were really cute. I think a bunch of the monkeys usually just come out because they expect you to have food for them. But we didn't have anything for them, so they got bored of us and just kind of went off to the other group that was there and that was arriving. They kept throwing food at them, so. But some of them were just hanging out on the beach. The nice thing was too, because of the weather, not too many people were out. So once that one tour group left, it was just us there. Here you can see some of the bananas that the monkeys found that the people threw to them. They were just floating in the water. So they were waiting for it to swim over to them and then they grabbed it. Here's Arya, she found a banana floating, so she just kind of threw it at one of the monkeys and it started to eat it. They were really cute, these monkeys. And they were not aggressive. I know some people have had some crazy experiences with these monkeys where they jump on them and take their stuff, but these ones kept their distance. Here you can see your private tour guide and us leaving Monkey Beach. The water here next to Kopipi Island is such a beautiful color and it's very clear. You can just look off the side of the boat and you can see fish swimming all around. So because it was raining, it started to get a little bit windy and our guide suggested that we don't keep going to the other islands that were part of the tour and he took us to Shark Beach. There you basically park the boat kind of close to shore and there are supposedly sharks there that you can see sometimes but luckily we did not see any. This was our first snorkeling experience near Kopipi Island and it was amazing. We went into the water and kind of just hung out near the boat. We could look underneath. The tour guide kept throwing some bread into the water so the fish would just kind of swim next to us. Here's Ollie snorkeling next to the fish. We kept looking for sharks but did not see any. I sort of panicked in the water a little bit because I was scared I would see a shark. They are the types of sharks so that don't eat people, but I did read that they can bite your ankles or something, so that alone freaked me out. We all had life jackets on, but I was still getting a little bit freaked out because of the waves. They would take us away from the boat. Really? You did? Aria did come out and swim with us for a little while, but she did get a bit freaked out. She got more confident near the end though. Here you can see how close we are to the beach. Again, there's no people anywhere because of the weather, but the rain was not that bad. It was just spitting a little bit and it was still really warm. So it's not like we were freezing or the weather was bad. It felt kind of nice. So we decided to end the tour there just because of the weather. And we were thinking of, since we were leaving the next morning, to get up early and just get the private tour again, but just go to Maya Bay and to other areas around it. So that was the plan for the next day. I will post that video separately.
We did have another beautiful sunset that we could see from our balcony.